Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Saturday, November 9th, 2019. We got a free pick coming up in college football in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below this video and you get set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster over at DocSports.com. Again, all you gotta do, get started. Click on the link below the video, get that free $60 dollar account and the DocSports.com guarantee uh, goes right along with it. That's pretty cool and a great way to give DocSports.com a trial run if you are not yet a member. All right, we uh, suffered a, a rare loss for what it's been over the last week plus here on the free pick report as we had Oregon State plus the points. They were getting about 10. Uh, they lost the game by 12. Real quick, because I don't want to spend a lot of time on this, I'm just going to say that was probably, and I was texting with other uh, bettors in my circle, about five, six other guys on Friday night, but we were texting back and forth. Maybe the one of the 10 worst coaching jobs from an offensive game plan standpoint uh, that we've seen over the last couple of seasons belonged to Smith and to Oregon State and uh, extremely conservative. Just over three yards per play on first down, a lot of dumb running plays off tackle, setting themselves up for obvious passing downs. And you know, when you're four and four, and again, I'm not gonna complain too much. I'm just talking about this team and the coaching. When you're four and four and you've surprised people with how well you've done, winning a couple of games outright as dogs, I think it was three, uh, and you've got a chance to go bowling, which would be a bit of a surprise for where this program was thought to be before the season began. You don't run a conservative game plan. You're not playing for national title. Uh, so just an odd game plan throughout. Uh, the fourth and five at their own 40, uh, with about 45 seconds left in the half going for it. The only time they weren't conservative all day long. And uh, of course they came up empty, just, just weird, odd play calling. And they kind of gifted Washington the win. Uh, great defensive play by Oregon State, just horrible offensive game plan and game calling. But anyway, that's behind us. We got a college football freebie coming up on this report. Uh, we cashed again in the NBA. Back to back days, we've had six unit plays, really getting a feel about the NBA and we cashed them both, including Friday night's 30 three-point win uh, by the Orlando Magic. Huge fourth quarter from the Magic as they crushed Memphis over the 5-12 minutes. Outscored them 34-8. Went on to the 33-point win. And, and that was our second straight six-unit elite-level winner in two days. And we've got a seven-unit play going in the NBA on Saturday. It's going to be available at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on Saturday at DocSports.com. It's just our second of the season. We are now on a 53-34. and 61% winning NBA run. And again, two and the last two days with elite level plays. We've got a third in three days. Seven unit play this time going on Saturday. Don't miss out on that. Now, you know about football. We've been talking about it for a couple of days since we posted our plays on Thursday afternoon. We've got uh, eight plays in all. Four from Saturday's college football. Four from Sunday's NFL. None of our plays this week have kicked off yet. We didn't have any Thursday or Friday night premium play football. So still, four games on Saturday led by that six unit play 75 percent with our six unit plays in football so far this season we've got a seven unit play going in sunday's nfl top play of a four play card on sunday all eight plays are available right now you purchase one time you just make one purchase you get college football and the nfl that's on my handicappers homepage over at DocSports.com. Big six unit play Saturday, big seven unit play on Sunday. You know about our NFL run, 86% the last couple of weeks. Uh, also, 76 and 51, 60% is our NFL run over the last couple of seasons. And how about this at the Westgate Super Contest? We did not get off to a great start, but we're now 22 and 11 with our last 33, 67% over the Westgate Super Contest. So really coming on strong in the NFL. Don't miss out on this week's card, College and Pro, all available right now as you watch this video. But there's more to that than Saturday's football. Listen, that's why I've been dressed like this. I mean, I know everybody wants to see you come on with shirt and tie and perfectly groomed hair and clean shaven. I do these videos at, geez, midnight Pacific time, one o'clock in the morning Pacific time. And here's the thing, man, with college basketball, NBA, football, you're going to actually just have to get what you see. And I apologize for that. But that means a hat some of these days this week and next week. And uh, we're not doing any suit and ties. I don't have time to play the groom Mr. Fashion guy and come on and do a perfect video. It's all about the games. It's all about trying to find more winners. And that's exactly what we're 
doing. So you get the hat, you get the hoodie, and uh, you get an unshaven look. And I apologize, but as long as we keep giving out the amount of wins we've had on these free pick videos over the last couple of weeks, I think you'll be pretty happy with that. At least I hope you will, and I hope you understand. So anyway, here's what we got going. Listen, I'm going to jump in with one college basketball best bet on Saturday. It's available uh, at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific at DocSports.com on Saturday morning. Uh, our favorite play yesterday happened to be the Miami Hurricanes. They did not win overall in college basketball, but that one cashed. And uh, that's what we're going to do on Saturday. One play, a best bet for us, if you will call it that, a best bet from Saturday's card, top play, uh, that will be available at 1 o'clock Eastern. Check that, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific over at DocSports.com. So there's a lot going on. UFC is ab available right now. They're fighting uh, in Russia, and the, our fight's going to go in the afternoon on Saturday, Eastern Time. And uh, we've got one fight in UFC action. I think you'll like that fight. So here's what we got going. Eight plays in football, including the six-unit college football, including the seven-unit NFL. We've got seven-unit play in the NBA, just our second of the season. 2-0 the last two nights with six-unit plays in the NBA and on that 53-34 and 34 run. That's available Saturday afternoon. I've got one college basketball play. My favorite play from Saturday's card is available at Doc Sports, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Don't forget, five-unit play in the NHL. Uh, we're just crushing it in the NHL. Now, 41 and 22 is the run, October, November run in the NHL. That'll be available at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. And of course, college basketball. I know I'm repeating myself, but there's a whole lot going on, including the UFC, where I've got one fight uh, that we're going to be betting on for Saturday. You can go grab that right now, along with football right now, and then during the day on Saturday, grab the rest of the card. So it's all available over at DocSports.com, where I am at exclusively and have been so for about 18 months with success. All right, let's get to our free pick for Saturday, college football action. We're going to take a look at the battle between Georgia Southern and Troy. Remember on Sunday, the last couple of Sundays, I've told you how these circle lines open a certain way, and then if they're bet two points or more the other way, you play back towards that circle line and how well college football has done for those who have done that. Nine and two the last two Saturdays. How about this one? The circa opening number on Troy happened to be exactly where my power rating said it should be. Troy, a one-point favorite over Georgia Southern. Well, Georgia Southern is now a three to four-point favorite, basically threes, on the road as this has moved quite a bit. And at the time of this report, it is where it is. It's about three or four points off uh, what the opening number was at the Circa, off of my power rating number. And uh, we're going to play back towards that opening line and back towards my power rating number with Troy. Listen, they're slightly better than Georgia Southern as far as I'm concerned at home in this spot and it's must win time listen I know must win in any league in any sport doesn't mean automatic win but at least I'll have that motivation of knowing that it's time to win or they ain't going bowling at the end of the year Georgia Southern comes into this one uh, looking to take on a Troy team that is off the tough loss but don't forget Georgia Southern had that massive win last week over Appalachian State so we'll see if Troy can take advantage bottom line is it's a good three to four points off of my power rating and I like Troy to get the job done here. So our free pick for Saturday's college football is Troy. Real quick update on the betting of the, of the two big games on Saturday. LSU Bama. It's right now Bama laying six. You've seen that total come down throughout the week. Uh, but anyway, LSU's getting over 55% of the tickets, over 55% of the money from the book that reported to us on Friday night. And Penn State Minnesota. Again, you're seeing about 55% of the tickets or the public on Penn State. Uh, sharp money a little bit more on Minnesota, which has brought that number down a little bit did of course a couple of days ago and uh, anyway going to be great games to watch I don't have a premium pick on either one of those games I have four other games that I'm involved in but I can't wait to watch both so there you go there's your betting report on the two biggest games of the week and again our free pick on Saturday is Troy in college football hey let's put them in the win column and if you like these videos click on that thumbs up button be sure to subscribe I'm Scott Sprites of DocSports.com I'll be right back here no later than 10 p.m. Eastern 7 p.m. Pacific on Saturday night. We will have Sunday's video available at that time. NASCAR post on Saturday night, 11 p.m. Pacific. We'll talk to you then Saturday night with our next update, a free pick from Sunday. Have a great Saturday and put them in the win column.